all of a sudden it knocked on the door and up came some food to save my life. Right now it's 11 o'clock. I am editing this video, which I'm going to put up in maybe an hour. Now I'm going to eat this delicious breakfast that Cecilia just made me. Then we're going to upload the video. We're going to go to uh, to some street food place that's uh, that they have here in Vancouver, which I think is going to be delicious. Then we're going to try to taste all the different food they have and taste what uh, Vancouver has to offer. Now we are out the door and today, as I said, we're going to this food festival thing. So we have all these small local restaurants, they made their own food truck, which, they, which they're setting up every, everybody together in this small place. And then you can basically just go out and taste all the local, uh, all the local restaurants. So now we're going to go out and we're going to taste the, the local area here in Vancouver. So you can just breathe fresh air. That's something you don't really appreciate when you're just walking around Vancouver. But compared to, to being in China, the fresh air, not wearing a mask, that's something uh, I really appreciate. So now that the food festival is on the north side of the art gallery. Yes. We don't know where the north side is. <laughs> okay, so what are you craving? Sweet potato fries. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find those then. This one is called uh, the rolling, rolling cashew, because they're always rolling. So you never know where they are. You can go on Instagram to find them, to find out where they are on a, on a given day. Okay. So what's the first thing we're gonna try? Rolls. Rolls, spring rolls. Yes. Okay. What two coffee rolls? Yes. Nine dollars. Mm -hmm. Want something to drink also? No, I'm not right now. Okay. Do you? No. <laughs> No, I don't. Thanks. This this place right here with all the food trucks and live music, it's the day it's the definition of uh, dance Kugel. It is, definitely. Ooh. Okay, we got our food. Let's find some place to sit down yes. and eat it. This is set up. We want to sit in the sun. Yes. Weather is amazing today. Wow, that looks amazing. Mm. It's really good. So we got some, what do you call them, curry puffs? Curry puffs, vegetarian of course. And then some Malaysian spring rolls. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mm. That's definitely a success. Mm. Now we're gonna eat. Thank you. Next. Good night. Right. Shall I drop the uh, I drop the box? Chili all over the floor. Let's sneak away before anyone sees it. Okay, what, what, do, what do you want to try now? Mm. Let's look what they have here. Oh. Yeah. A lot of meat right there. Beef, chicken, beef. And if you don't eat meat, that's not the best the best way to go. We won't be trying the Persian food today. Gourmet mac and cheese. Have you, have you tried mac and cheese before? No. Nope. Maybe I'm gonna try it today. You wanna try it? Maybe. Mac and cheese. I don't think it's. I don't think I would like it. <laughs> no. Definitely not. Crumbled bacon. Wow, that sounds just like something you'd love. Next thing up is uh, vegan burrito. That we're gonna try from the pink truck. Hi there. Hi, a vegan burrito. Want a vegan burrito? Yes. Can you cut it in half? Yeah, sure. sure. May I get your name? Cecilia. One vegan burrito, cut in half, please. Cereal? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, enjoy. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, wow, looks really good. good. Mm. The guy at the at the food truck, he asked me before if uh, this is all the camera, if I was if I if I was vlogging. Obviously, I am. He had a run before. He he tried vlogging himself for 21 days. Yeah, he gave up. It was too tough. We are at day 30 now. We're gonna keep going. Vegan burrito with uh, beans, rice, guacamole, and cabbage. I'm gonna feast this. Don't, don't film me while eating it, no. 
Don't. <laughs> yeah, I feel myself then. <laughs> Mm. Oh, Trump is a jerk chicken taco. <laughs> I saw her yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, can I have one uh, vegan curry? Sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's water. Okay, so it's $14. Yes! Mm. <laughs> hey, I love Indian food. Mmm, mmm. I like a mac and cheese, cheese with bacon, please. Bacon? Yeah, and no parmesan. Can I have just a tiny bit of fried onion as well? Thank you. Mm. I still like <laughs> Salt. <laughs> Honestly, I think this is some of the most disgusting food I've ever seen, Cecilia. <laughs> it looks so good. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Let's try this. Okay, first time ever mac and cheese. Yes. <laughs> Is it good? Yes. You want to test? <laughs> no. So while we're sitting here eating, eating your mac and cheese, and I just devoured my my curry. <laughs> There's a photo shoot going on, just in the background. <laughs> I'm gonna say it was the best burrito I've ever had. I'm glad you enjoyed yeah. it. Really good, thanks man. I'm glad you enjoyed it, take care. Thank you too. Now we're done eating. Very, yeah. very good. Food. Very good, yeah. The Vancouver Dine Out Food Festival thing, huge success. Yeah, definitely recommend it. Five stars. Yeah, best burrito ever, great curry. You tried Great the mac. mac and cheese with <laughs> bacon and, and onions and salt. <laughs> yeah, a lot of salt. I'm just gonna be eating like that. After we have now been walking around, uh, the shopping mall for like an hour. You didn't buy anything. Oh. I was really bored. I almost, I almost fell, fell asleep on the escalator. <laughs> what, um, what are we doing now? We are gonna try and find a vegan donut okay. and a cup of coffee. <laughs> Celia couldn't wait no. eating hers until I, I filmed it on ginger beer. <laughs> Okay, so you're in Canada right now as part of this uh, exchange program. Yes. This also means that you'll be going to Shenzhen in China in the fall, right? Yes. So wh what would you say, what, what about China excites you the most and what, what do you fear the most about going to China for four months? As part of this program, I travel together with 15 Chinese. So I have already met some of the super nice people of China. So what I'm looking most forward to is trying to feel their welcoming super nice culture, maybe traveling around China to learn more about their history and how their culture. And what I fear the most, or at least what concerns me the most, I think is the language. Luckily, I'll have to be as with me, <laughs> so hopefully he can help me a bit. But I think it's gonna be super tough walking around not knowing any Chinese at all. At least from what I've heard from both Tobias and Mikkel is that you need to know at least some Chinese to be able to maybe even order some food or go buy clothing or whatever it might be. Then it's a good thing that you have a native speaker with you <laughs> for the entire for the entire stay. Yeah. Now we are at Stanley Park and this is um, a park, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really know what's special about it. I tried to Google it to find some information, but basically it's just an old park, the first park in Canada and it's one of the best parks in the world. I have no idea what makes a park really good. But apparently this is a really good park and there are some nice tall buildings in the background so I'm happy about that. And yep, Please. let's go. Yes. Go on. Just keep that back. Not this way. Okay. <laughs> this is actually a pretty nice view. It's not as good as the Bond, but it is. This is the skyline of Vancouver. Now it's getting dark, so we're gonna leave the park and go home. But firstly, we're gonna find something to eat. Woohoo! Only thing we had today was three different dishes at the street food, which were great. Then we had a donut, and now we need some dinner, because we're always hungry. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow for vlog 31! Woohoo!